The Lord of Murder shall perish, but in his death he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos shall be sown in their footsteps. So saith the wise Aluando. <laughs> it's Baldur's Gate 2. We have played uh, Baldur's Gate 1, Enhanced Edition, and Siege of Dragonspear. If you're also interested in seeing our exploits there, You spent your youth in the library fortress of Candlekeep, under the kind tutelage of your foster father Gorion. Imoen That's what he looked like? Own, a kindred spirit. That's not what she looked like. <laughs> That's not how she own. looked. <laughs> Gorion's murder brought answers to your questions. Oh God. When his killer Saravok was revealed to be your brother. You and Saravok were a product of the Time of Troubles, a chaotic period when gods were made flesh and forced to walk the earth. One such deity foresaw his own death and walked the land before the Cataclysm. He left a score of mortal offspring. Oh my god, look at that baby! For his rebirth. <laughs> the god was born, Lord of Murder, and you are one of his children. Oh no! Sarawak sought a war oh, of this. sacrifice to prove his worth, believing he could become the new Lord of Murder. You killed your brother, sending his taint back to Baal. <laughs> sending you were the his hero taint of back! Baldur's Gate, <laughs> Dude, Baldur's Gate 2 already rocks! <laughs> you departed <laughs> soon after, under circumstances much darker than anyone would have believed. They came as you rested, figures cloaked in mist that clouded your thoughts, blurring the lines between consciousness and dreaming. There was no malice or hatred, no mention of an old score, only quick capture and the promise of grim deeds to come. Oh my gosh. Oh! This is so, like, soap opera coded. <laughs> <laughs> this rocks. Oh my god. All right. I cut the import character part. It's our same character from Siege and uh, Baldur's Gate 1. Okay. Ah, the child of Baal has awoken. Oh. It is time for more experiments. <laughs> the pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Who is this voice? Didn't we you kill even them? You realize your potential. <laughs> Look at this. More intruders have entered the complex, Master. Oh my they god. Act sooner than we had anticipated. You have a science fiction no voice. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. What was that? That sounded like a cyborg. Hey, Emowyn! Oh my gosh, and also, we get our first taste of, uh, what's going on with the, the character portraits in this. Because I gotta tell you, folks, in Baldur's Gate 2, everybody got yassified. <laughs> Alright. What? Emowyn? What's going on? Who, who are you? Keep... Keep your greaves on. I'll move when I'm ready. What? Imowen? Oh. Oh, what was that that we skipped over? Oh, okay. Alright, I gotcha. 
to just click through it real fast. All right. He messed with your head too, huh? All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. Your journal has been updated. I have woken up in a strange mage's dungeon. Oh, by the way, our character's voice is different, right? Because the same voice actor either wasn't here or is doing a different performance this time around, right? So we now sound far more half-orc-like than previously. I've woken up in a strange mage's dungeon, and Imowen has released me from my cell. We must find a way to escape this place. Although I suspect the exits might be barred by magic, we might be able to find a way to leave if we explore the area. Although we'll need to be careful. Who knows what tra- Oh no! Who knows what traps his mage has laid, or what guards he employs. I should keep an eye out for weapons and armor to equip myself with too. Likely some of my items are hidden somewhere in this complex, if he hasn't destroyed or sold them already. I love the idea that he just immediately goes to fence him off. Okay. I don't think I want to remember it all. He's been doing things to us, Lila Schnub. We have to get out of here. Can I trust you? I don't remember a thing. Doing things? What do you mean? All right, I'm moving. I ache all over, though. I'm sorry. Could you give me the long version of our history? It's like we just met. Doing things? What do you mean? Come on, Lila Schnub. Don't make me think of it. He did the same to you, I think. I heard you screaming like it anyway. I want to know who's behind this. I owe them a debt of pain. A little headache is not going to stop me. We'll get out and then figure out what's going on. If we're in such a danger, how did you get free? How did you get free? There was fighting. My cell was damaged. I don't know if I could get out again. The pain in my head is getting worse. It isn't like a normal pain, Lila Schnub. It's on the inside. Like my bones made a little dagger and it won't go away. Don't look at me like that. It just hurts, all right? Must have been the noise. There was a fight. Assassins came after our captor, I think. Interesting. There's people dead all over, and the fighting is still going on. I could hear it. Are you going to get moving, or do I have to leave without you? So how much time has passed? Not very much, it seems like. Though maybe... Maybe a lot has, and that's a twist. Right you are. Let's go. You seem awfully quick to abandon me. Fine, I'm moving. But I don't take kindly to your orders. We won't get far on our own. Is there anyone here who can join with us? Yeah, what about these people back here? Is there anyone here who can join with us? Oh! Minsk and Jahira are just northeast of us, trapped in cells sort of like yours. We should set them free, and then find some gear. Is this them? We should look in that room to the west first. West and just a bit north. I think I saw some weapons in there. It's a room off the corner of this one. I don't think it's our gear. They probably sold our best stuff, but anything is better than nothing. Now let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold up, what did that say? Oh, what are you doing, Imoy? Oh, gosh, you're self-buffing. Right, she knows magic now. <laughs> okay. Let's see, pause time here real quick. Important events. Journal. Oh, my old friend Imowen has rescued me from imprisonment. I don't remember how I was brought here, and neither do I know who would wish us locked up. My mind aches and my memory is a haze. What has happened? Where am I? <gasps> Okay, let's immediately do a hard save. Let's see. Let's see here. Brand new to everything. Good. Okay. Let's see if I can also remember the controls for everything. How do I make this? Oh, there we go. I was expecting a bit of an arrow, but that's fine. Okay, let's also check. We've got the the difficulty set to core rules once more. 
we may pop it back up to um what do you call it to hard or very hard whatever it was as we had done previously but i'm not sure because I need to reacquaint myself with how the game necessarily works. And even, <laughs> let's be real, even in Baldur's Gate 1 and in Siege of Dragonsphere, I didn't fully know how everything worked. There's a lot going on. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to even move the camera around. Yeah, there we go. All right, then. Yeah, listen to us now. <laughs> our, our vocal cords got a little screwed up. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's everybody. Hold tab. Okay. Well, we should go over this way, right? This room. Quickly! We must get out of here before whoever did this returns. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. Jahira, why are you laughing about this? I just got, like, horrifyingly to tortured. My bones have turned into daggers. <laughs> I may help, but refresh my memory as to who you are. You can't make demands of me. What authority do you think you have? I don't know why I'm here. Perhaps you are to blame. Do you know why we are here? Any clue would be helpful. Have you any idea why we are here? I do like the idea that this perfectly sets up a reason for... Like, if you've forgotten, or you're brand new to Baldur's Gate, you haven't played the first one, you could just start here and be like, yeah, I've got amnesia. Right, I can't remember anything. You know, as, as much of a, a trope as that usually is and overplayed as it is, right? They do give you an option. They give you an out. Okay. Do you know why we are here? Any clue would be helpful. I'm certain we could navel gaze all day about what brought us here, but it's but it shall certainly prove pointless if we do not remove ourselves from the from immediate danger. I know not who has entrapped us here either, but I would rather not find out, simply waiting for them to return. We are at a disadvantage in this place. I will recount what led to this if you wish, though I think I have little to offer that you do not know already. My husband Khalid and I have traveled with you for some seasons now, and the places we have seen number too many to name. Your unique heritage has proven a magnet to adventure, for better or worse. And your foster father was right in directing us to watch over you. We remain in your company as friends more than guardians, and our exploits together have left the land for the better. We have earned many enemies, but we have dispatched them all. Whoever has trapped us now is certainly powerful to have done this so easily. Once we know, we will deal with them in due course, but for the time being, it is more important that we retrieve our friends and companions, and leave this place. I have no time for one as long-winded as you. Fare thee well. I'll not rescue you. I agree, but your cage seems to require a key of some magical nature. Where is Khalid now? Is he not with you? They should be more careful if they are weak. Where is Khalid anyway? Perhaps we'll find Khalid hiding under a bed along the way. Where is Khalid now? Is he not with you? I do not know where he is, and it worries me. No doubt he has taken as we were. He was taken as we were. Though it seems we were all meant for different fates. From the state of my head, I think I have been drugged. Though I have been spared any serious physical mistreatment. Oh, your bones aren't daggers, huh? You, however... Look as though your bones have turned into daggers now. <laughs> Look as though you have been treated most unfavorably. I should not like to think of Khalid receiving the same. I care not. In fact, I think I'll leave you to distract any guards. Such a chore to protect all these people from their own ineptitude. I will help, but your cage seems to be sealed magically. I'd say that. I don't know. If you are of sufficient strength, it is possible the cage may be broken. If not, you have to search for whatever key it might need. Uh, we do have sufficient strength, I bet. Do try to hurry. I wish to be out of here before the owner returns. The ease of our capture suggests it may be beyond our power to resist. It would be best if the culprit... To, it would be best to face the culprit another day, on our own terms, 
So go and be quick. We must free ourselves soon. This place is just too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Find a way to release Jahira from her cell. Jahira is kept captive in the same room that I was. In a cage closed with a magical lock. It does not look as if it can be picked. Perhaps there is a key elsewhere in the dungeon. Can I actually strength check it open? Let's see. How are my key bindings relative to the first game, by the way? Let's see. Assign keys. Where's that? Where's that good thing? You know what I'm talking about? Where's quick save? There we go. Yeah, it's, it's back on Q. Gotcha. Which is what I remember it being. Okay, can we talk to Minsk? Ah, Minsk will be free! These bonds will not hold my wrath! Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure! Minsk? Your mighty warrior spirit must find these bars unbearable! Can you control your anger long enough to safely leave this place? I remember traveling with you, but how did we get here? If you've anything of value to say, do it now and without such wailing. I remember traveling with you, but how did we get here? Our travels are the stuff of legend! Our victories are the subject of song! How could I not follow to find my friends after they disappeared? I know not who has done this, but I will avenge most viciously the wrongs they... The wrongs... Dinner here! I will cave their skulls for what they have done! We must maintain our heads if we are to exit here alive. Dinner here? Is she trapped here as well? I've not seen her. I will leave you here if you do not compose yourself. Is she trapped here as well? Trapped! Her spirit! Her spirit is trapped in a cage created by my failure. I was to guard her, but she... She... They... They killed her as I watched, you see! I know not who they were, but... But I will redeem myself! Oh my god, they killed her? Okay. Damn, I can't believe they fucking killed off the Jennifer Hale character. That's buck wild. Minsk, that is horrible. I'm so sorry for you. I won't cry for the dead. I won't. Okay, maybe a little. But I'll staunch the flow of tears with righteous fury. Lullaby and good night, evil. Minsk will make you pay. Will you help me? We must join together once more, and our fury will be such that bards will run their quills dry. Yes, ink will be scarce wherever we go. I will try and free you, but I don't know how to open your cell. Yes, Minsk, I will do what I can. Don't get yourself excited. You being here shows you are weak. I will leave you where you are. I'll try and free you, but I don't know how to open your cell. I do not know either. The boars have no locks at all. They are smithed together. I am proud that they feared me enough to imprison me permanently. Are you insane? Perhaps it is best if I didn't release you. Permanently? That's going to make this difficult. It's going to make this difficult. But you will keep looking, of course. You would never give up, I know this. A hero always succeeds. And the hero never stops short of her goal. But she also needs the key or switch. I don't know where they are. I said I would try and I will. But I will do it in my own time. Blah blah, I've had enough. I'm leaving you here. I need the key or switch. I don't know where they are. You... You have brushed me aside with your words. You won't help. Boo can see it now. You do not intend to cut my chains, you only intend to yank them! Oh my gosh! What? No! <laughs> no! No, what did I say? Did I say the wrong thing? Oh my gosh! Why is he so angry about me saying that? I will make sure you do not live long enough to abandon more friends! I will- I will- I will do all of this as soon as I get these bars open! Ah! The bars! 
They oh. bend and twist with my berserker strength. Minsk and Boo are free. No, you will not. No. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes. Wait, does he get mad and break himself out no matter what? Now we can resume our adventures together. There are friends to avenge and villains to smack about the face and neck. Right, Boo? Join with me, but you must serve me better than you did dinner here. Together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Uh, yeah, I think perhaps we should split up. Yeah, let's- together we shall make our enemies answer for our fallen. Answer they will, and my sword shall be the question. We shall have fistfuls of sweet, sweet justice, and our enemies will be stains beneath our feet. What? Uh, yes, but, but, all right. Boo tells me that I am raving again. I did not notice a difference, but I shall heed his words nonetheless. Come, we must go now. Yes, Minsk and Boo, and you, together again. Beware, villains, I will force justice down your evil, evil throats. My god. Ah, I still see you have that rodent. Dare I ask how you have kept it hidden from our captors? Are you talking to a, a hamster? What kind of a warrior are you? How did you keep Boo hidden? Don't ask questions better left to aged sages. Boo is quick and evasive, and there is ever so much of mints to search. There is no hope of getting us apart. Ew, I... Really don't want to think about that too much. This is so great, right? Already, this is so good. There's so much, like, back and forth between the companions and stuff, which was a big criticism that I had in uh, Baldur's Gate 1, the core game. There was just such little from uh, our followers and stuff, which is, frankly, very much unlike uh, what a lot of people associate with Bioware, you know? Where... In a lot of their stuff, the companions more than pull their weight. They're one of the big drawing points, right? Having followers and companions in something like a Mass Effect or a Dragon Age and stuff like that, you know? They're they're a big deal. People have favorites and stuff. They talk a whole lot. They give you their perspective. All that stuff, right? They're like, I don't know. They're like the, the one of the biggest draws. And here we can see Bioware, I feel, getting more into that, right? And... As that's as much as I've been told as well that uh, they really up the ante on that here. Minsk and Boo are Minsk and Boo, and we shall not be separated. Shall we go? The butts of evil await my bootprint. Whoa, I've changed my mind. Why don't you go on ahead without me, and I'll uh, catch up with you later. Yeah, right you are, Minsk. Where'er evil dost lay its dirty feet, we shall mop the floor with its buttocks. Sure. <laughs> I have lost myself in your words, but Boo thinks you're just ducky. Onward. Oh, Minsk got level up too. Let's see. What did we write? Minsk has freed himself with his anger heightened strength, bursting from his cage. Obviously, our captor underestimated the ma the wrath of a man and his hamster. Okay. Let's get everybody around here. So, can I strength check Jahira's without even going in this other room? Hmm. You have failed to force the door. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, maybe I can't. Hmm. Let's see. Do I have any. A den of stinking evil. Cover do I... your nose, Boo. We will leave no crevice untouched. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Minsk is even more wild with his euphemisms this time around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how, how would we bust down the door, I wonder? Hmm. 
Let's see. Yeah, by the way, our character is incredibly powerful because we got to keep a lot of, well, everything that increased our stats in Baldur's Gate 1 and Siege of Dragon Spear. So things are looking pretty good for us as far as stats are concerned, right? Just in case you've skipped all of that. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how we are meant to bust into this. Maybe if I just try, am I rolling the dice every time? No. Can I have Imowen pick yeah. it? Yeah, see, I should have a little star there or something. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, we've got all of our, like, child of ball abilities. Let's see. Does enrage increase my strength? No, it increases my attack. I mean, it's really good, right? It's it's going to help us so much, it sounds like, in this game, which is completely filled to the brim with deviously crowd-controlling enemies. Yes! Fail to force the door. Okay. And when, what sorts of magic do you know? Chromatic orb, magic missile, identify, stinky cloud, strength? Okay. Nah, I'm too strong already. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, however, this spell will actually lower a character's strength if it is already 19 or more. So no good. Okay. Holy shit, you've got haste baked in. My god, okay. Maybe Minsk can do it. What else do you know, Minsk? Charm animal? Where Minsk goes, evil stands No, aside. he's not angry enough. Okay. Maybe Imowen can pick it? Gotcha. It's magically sealed, though. Yeah. Huh? There we go. Very Let's go well. into this back room. Oh my gosh, look, there's a big old magic mirror portcullis. Ooh, wow, it's really giving off a noise. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Is this a way out? I don't want to leave without Jahira. The portal requires a key of some sort. You cannot step through without this item. Okay. Fair enough. There we are. We can't search that body or anything, can we? No. Oh, there looks- looks to be some good- OH! Jailkeep Golem! Hello, Jailkeep Golem- oh, we detected a trap in the painting. It's not hostile. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Wow, a golem. Powerful magic stuff. Odd that it's not hostile. I suppose its maker didn't expect us to escape, so it never got orders for restraining us. They only do exactly what they are directed to. They don't really think. If it hasn't been told to keep quiet, we might get some information out of it. Prisoners, you must not escape. The master does not will it. Who is this master that you speak of? What your master wills matters not to me, Golem. Where where are we, and why have we been brought here? The master wants me to be free. He released me. You are a mindless Golem. I shall find no answers from you. Who is this master that you speak of? I am not permitted to speak with prisoners. Return to your cells. It is the master's wish. Where are we, and why have we been brought here? You are his prisoners. He has brought you to his home because he owns you now. <laughs> you must return to your cell. It is the master's will. I will not return to that cage. Do you think to stop me from leaving? Hmm. The master wants me to be free. He is the one who released me. Only I release the master's prisoners. You are his and must return to the cells. It is his wish. I will not return to that cage. Do you think to stop me from leaving? 
I am not bound to stop you. The Guardian will stop you from leaving. Return to your cells. It is the Master's wish. Who or what is the Guardian? The Guardian will keep you from the Master's chambers. You must return to your cells. It is the Master's will. Is that the Master's chambers back there? Okay, well, let's look in this table. There's a whole bunch of shit. Including jail cell key A. A typical cell key that one might find in any jail. This one may fit Jahira's cell. Really? It looks very atypical. Look at it. Hmm. Well. I mean, I guess we ought to take all of these. We don't really have fucking anything. Okay. Let's see here. What is my inventory key by default now? I think I used to have it set to tab. I? Yeah, there we are. Okay, so I'm really good with two-handed swords. Right? At least I, I should be still. Long sword, two-handed. There we go. Are there new bits of text or did they reuse the same stuff from before? I feel like it's the same. Okay. There we go. And let's see. What is Imowen good with? I believe I gave her, yeah, a ranged weapon previously. Short bow. Minsk is good with two handed sword, mace, and longbow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Sorry about that. The game just inexplicably tabbed out. I've, I've noticed I've been having that issue a lot. I wonder what's causing it. Very weird. Okay. Well, nonetheless, let's go over here. Let's get him a... Hmm. A mace, I guess. Or, I guess we could do a warhammer. Longsword... And what type of melee was... Was Imowen skilled with? Let's see. Short sword, dagger, quarterstaff. Okay. There we go. And... Yeah, mace. Okay. Sure. Are. And will he be better wielding a second weapon? No, he won't. His thacko goes up, which is bad, and his damage goes down, which of course is also bad. Yeah, we'll just have him one hand. Okay, maybe we'll find a shield or something. Okay. Now we have a fighting chance. Just as I would have thought. Let's check here. Oh, look at that. Shields and armor. Okay. Let's see here. Let me equip whatever is the most heavy duty. What does this helmet even do? Oh, protects against crits. Same, same. Okay. And then let's equip that. Great. Hmm. Let's give this to Minsk. There we are. So what are these? Buckler. Plus one AC. Good. And this is small shield. Alright. Oh yeah. Imwin can use the buckler. Great. Oh, the armor actually doesn't have any effect on her. Your wizard spells have been disabled. Oh, do we want... So whenever she equips armor, she can't use her multi-class, dual-class stuff. Huh. Okay, you know what? We'll keep, we'll keep things as is. Does this armor... Deactivate? Yeah. Huh. 
What kind of a belt are you wearing? Imowen's belt. Imowen does not know when or how she acquired this belt, and despite all of her efforts and magic, it cannot be removed or unbuckled. What? How about Boo? Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minsk believes that Boo is a miniature, giant, space hamster, you are certain that the tiny rodent is just a normal hamster. Do I have anything weird? No. I'm completely unremarkable. All right. Fair enough. Actually, let's see. How much... What's our damage looking like? Am I still, like... Yeah, I'm still... Ready to fucking obliterate shit. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Look at that. Pretty good for some basic gear, right? Zero armor class. Five Thacko right out the gate with just a basic two-hander. Okay. Like I said, we got to keep a lot of our stuff. Our, a lot of our, like, intrinsic character things. Okay. Do Anyone, can you disarm any of this? Good to go. There we go. Great. Wow, we got a thousand seven hundred fifty XP from that. There we go. Oh, a dagger. Okay. Sure. We ought to move this stuff around too. It's quite heavy. And I'll take the potions if I'm tanking. Good. Oh yeah, we ought to equip this. There we go. And then... Let's see. Emwyn, you can ID stuff, can't you? Let's see here. Right click on item to use. Okay. Ah, there we go. Dagger plus one. Huh. Yeah, let's have her use that instead. It's better. Right. Especially because it's magical in nature. Alright. Let's see if we can free Jahira. This will be simple. <laughs> I do kind of... On the one hand, I miss our character's prior voice. But on the other hand, this feels very fitting. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let's see, there we go. Well, that is a relief, and about time too. We should be going immediately. Not only might our host come back, I simply must see the sun again in none too short a time. This dank place stifles me. We will leave immediately, and celebrate once we are out of this hole. You're welcome so long as you remember I am the leader. We do as I will. Find your own way out. We have a greater chance of escape if we split up. We won't be going. I rescued you, but I neither need nor desire your company. Okay. Yeah, we will leave immediately and celebrate once we are out of this hole. As you would have it, though there are other friends we must find as well, it is good to share your company again. I have freed Shahira from her cell with the key I found. Okay. Everybody's got levels. No time at all. Probably something I ought to do in between videos. There we are. If I remember, most of the leveling is uh, fairly... Here, let's move them around. Let's have... Imwin at the all furthest right, back. Then. Okay. So, if is this the master's chamber? Is this dude gonna be pissed as hell if we try to get in there? Oh, you know what? We need to equip. Jahira as well. Okay, pretty good at the club. Scimitar, Wakazashi, Ninjato, and Quarterstaff. Okay. Sure. Well, let's get her the Quarterstaff, I think. There we are. Good. And what other armor do we have that we could... Yeah. Let's pass that over there. Good. That'll work. At least for now. 
Oh. Oh god, is this going to be the Guardian? Is that the Guardian? Smoke Method. Great fun! <laughs> Obliterated it. Oh my gosh, listen to the n cool new combat music, huh? Okay. What would you ask? Oh god, what is this? I'm terrified that we're going to open a door and encounter this guardian. Oh. <laughs> okay. Name it. Let's see. Oh right. Yeah. Back here and thieving. Right you are. Oh, it's a magical lock. What? What? <laughs> yes. Okay. Over here. Yeah, I don't like the sound of what was going on, on the other side of that door. Okay. Can we open these doors and and maybe is there anything good in them? I don't think so. Interestingly, there's no doors on this side of the prisoner chamber. It's very metal. Okay. Wow, there's a bunch of dead people. The bodies of several black hooded thieves litter the hallway, slaughtered by a massive release of magical energy. From the distant explosions that you can still hear, it seems as if whatever battle killed these men still rages. Yeah, interesting. Someone else has an interest. Oh. Oh, it's another method. Jeez. There we go. Obliterated. What is this thing? This machine buzzes with electrical energy. There we go. Is this thing gonna keep spitting shit out? Do we just need to keep rolling? Oh. Ataga or Ataka Lila Schnub, welcome. You have escaped somewhat later than I had hoped. I am Ataka. You have my welcome to my little piece of this place. I do so to keep it more appealing than the rest. Uh my thanks? How is it that you know my name? What is going on here? I have escaped. I now wonder what part you had in my capture. You must excuse me, but I haven't the time to speak with you right now. I have escaped. I now wonder what part you had in my capture. Worry not, Lila Schnub. I did so enjoy your blundering about Baldur's Gate. I did not wish to see you captured. What? I care little for your musings. Answer my questions or feel my wrath. If you are not my captor, then what do you want from me? Can you assist me? It seems that you have no wish to assist me. That being the case, farewell. If you're not my captor, then what do you want? Such assistance as you will get from me depends on yourself. Are you prepared to answer a question? To what end? Why do you see- why do you need me to ask a question? Why do you need to ask me a question? I will answer n your question if it leads to you making some sense. I will answer none of your questions. To what end? I suffer a terrible curiosity. I see paths that branch in a thousand directions, and each a thousand again. But for all I see, Lila Schnub remains a mystery. All I wish is a single answer. Tip the scales this once to me, and I shall tip them to you in return. Shall you answer me, or shall you strike out on your own? Um... Okay. <laughs> Why not? I'll answer your question if it will lead to you making sense. Then here is my hypothetical question. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. The mage responsible appears and speaks. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell, there is a magical button. 
If you press your button, your sibling does, and your sibling does not, you will die. But your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die. Wait, what? If you press a button and your sibling doesn't, you will die. But your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die. But you, but you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling press the buttons, both of you will die. Okay. So in the best case situation, let's see. I push the button. I mean, how much time do I have to push the button? <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So I have to push the button no matter what. Okay. If neither you nor your siblings press the button, both of you will die. If you both press your respective buttons, both of you will die. The mage says that you have one turn of the hourglass to decide your action. Then he leaves. This is silly. Buttons are not how one escapes dungeons. I would smash the button and rain beatings liberally down on the wizard for playing such a trick. Verily, of that I have no doubt, Minsk. But the question is hypothetical and requires an answer born of the wisdom of Lila Schnub, not your impatience. Tell me, Lila Schnub, do you press the button? I will press the button. I will not press the button. Oh. Um. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting that we can say I don't know. Okay. Huh. Yeah, so if I press the button, I'm gonna die. But as long as my sibling doesn't press the button, and I press it, I die, but the sibling is free. Okay. Which I don't- how literal do we mean? <laughs> like, is this hi a hypothetical sibling, or is this a hypothetical question involving Imowen, my literal sibling. Because <laughs> Imowen seems like the type to push a button. Okay. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die. But you will go free. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Okay. Here, I gotcha. I gotcha. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. <laughs> right? It's easy. It's so easy. Right? So I anticipate that Imowen will press the button. Right? Yeah. So I won't do anything. I won't do anything with the expectation that Imowen would press the button, thereby killing Imowen. And that sounds bad, right? My sibling kills herself inside of this sadistic trap by way of pressing button. But guess what? We live in the magical fucking world of the Forgotten Realms of fucking Baldur's Gate land. I walk over to the jail cell or whatever, I find my sibling, open up their cage after I'm freed from not pushing the button, pick up her body and take it to the nearest place, and resurrect, <laughs> right? Imowen, on the other hand, ain't no way Imowen can pick up my character's body. 
Me, however, I got 600 units of carry capacity. I'm not pressing the button. I will not press the button. Truly, I had not thought you to be a coward until this day. Mingle with your brethren, coward. I shall test your mettle. Oh, no. What are these? Gibberlings. Okay. The other gibberlings have completely fucked off. Very well. Good. Just as I would have thought. Cannot save monsters are about. Good. Okay. Where'd the other one go to? Oh, maybe it disappeared. Huh. We still don't have any form of key for that. This machine buzzes with electrical energy. Oh. This room is dominated by mineral deposits and crystals. It seems to be a natural cavern that is... that this strange prison has been built around. The air halts an aura of power, and several pools are swirling lights... with swirling lights grace the edge of the rough cavern. Okay. Hmm. Sure. Well, let's go down this route. Oh shit. Where are these? Goblins. Fall creature! How beast the earth! Look at this, we're already getting money. Good stuff. Oh hell yeah. A ranged weapon as well. A short bow for Emoin. And another short bow. Okay. Now let's get that on M1 for sure. There we go. Good. And then move these, move the ammunition over. Who else could use a short bow? I guess, yeah, Mince could. We'll give it to him as an offhand. There we go. Equip the quiver. Perfect. And this doesn't make it to where, like, M1 can't use magic or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Let's do a quick save. This will be simple. Alright. Pop this door. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit. It's another method. Look at this, a big old, like, alchemy room or something. Within the murky depths of this machine, you can see the lifeless remains of a strange creature consisting of a central orb and numerous eye stalks. It has been dead for some time. Oh, it's a beholder, I, isn't it? I know this room. I've been in here. We both have. He... There are things in these tanks. They used to be people. No way! The Beholder used to be a person? What kind of monster is this guy? Captures as easy as pie. Kills whoever he wants. That could have been us in those glass things. We'll get him back in, Imowen. We'll make him pay for all of this. Quit your whining, we're free now. I'm sure we'll find him soon enough. I want to know what he wants with me. We'll make him pay for all of this. We don't even know where we are. And my head is still doing funny things. He said something... something about potential. He said something like releasing power within you so it could be used. But if it means taking part in horrible things... I don't like this place. Can we go? Okay. Imowen said something odd. Our captor apparently has some insight into my condition as a child of Ball. He supposedly mentioned a means of allowing me to tap that power. I'm in no position to question him at the moment, but I will keep it in mind for the future. 
Okay. Oh, I can look at this? You're too far away to catch a glimpse of the tube's contents. Okay. Wow, this room is big. Here we are. Oh, a booby-trapped crate. The creature within this tube seems to be alive, albeit barely. The cells that power the tube are lifeless. You need to find newer power cells to revive the creature. Why would I want to revive the creature? Okay. No time at all. The tube is unpowered, and the creature within is dead. The creature within is dead. Dead. Okay. Need power cells. Dead creature, dead creature. Dead for some time. Power cells. Okay. What about this one? The fluid within this device churns and bubbles, though the tank itself is empty. Okay. Let's look inside this. Ah, some bullets. Okay. Let's see. Let's have Emmeline do a little bit of uh, all right, all disarming. Right. Does it need to be picked? It does. Oh, a quarter staff. Ready and willing. Okay, quarter staff plus one. Great. Let's give that to Jahira. There we are. I'll take the old one. Same goes for that dagger. Get on with it. Okay. All right then. Huh. So we need some type of power cell or whatever. What is this? This looks like a hand. Right, look at this. It looks like a weird grabbing device. It looks like some kind of cartoon armature or whatever. Right? It these are hands that grab stuff and feeds it into its own mouth. Weird. Okay. How big is this? Oh my god, this place is humongous! Teleport portal. Prison cells. Good lord, okay. Let's see, should we check down here or in here? Let's go inside of this room. Oh, there's another golem. A sewage golem. Wait, was the last golem a sewage golem too? If it were properly cleansed and balanced. Yes. Oh, there's a method. There we go. Good. Can we talk to this sewage golem? Do they have anything different to say? Master, is it you? You have given me no eyes and I cannot see. Uh, yes, it is I. Have you been performing any services for me? I'm not your master, but I would like to know who he is. What are you, and what is your purpose? Yes, it is I. I have cleaned the sewage chambers and fed your guardian. Do you wish me to open the doors to the pit and begin my duties again? I do wish it. Open the doors and perform your duties. I am not actually your master, but I would like to know who he is. Not at present. Just stay where you are. I will tell you when you are to perform your duties. Is that all you can do? Is that all you can do? It is all that you have ensorcelled me to do. Very well. Open the doors and begin your work. I will tell you when you are to perform your duties. As you will, Master. I shall return to my rest. Right, because I may not be ready to go in and look at this guardian. Okay, what's on this table? Oh, shit. Okay. We're already getting some nice stuff. Let's see here. Huh. I don't know, this medium shield is... equivalent. Okay. Sure, we'll just swap stuff around. 
Okay. Let's have Imwin look at these. Longsword plus one. Identify. With a spell. A Varscona plus two. Huh. What is that? It's just a longsword, one-handed. Blades of this type were used by shaman priests during the sacrificial rites of Feast of the Moon ceremonies. Legends say that when she passed on, the remains of this sword's wielder were mummified, and the blade was placed within her chest as a symbol of power. In the first stage of a long-forgotten ritual, she was to have been exhumed in a season, born again in some new form. Unfortunately, cult wars killed the few that knew of her existence. Her tomb became a prison, where she was forgotten. And there she developed a rage that bordered on insanity. My god. Her grave was eventually found, but it was deserted and gave no indication of her whereabouts. Some venture to say that her anger was so concentrated that she became one with the very blade of her weapon. Regardless, after hundreds of years surrounded by constant hate, the sword harvested a power of its own. It is now exceedingly deadly in combat. Okay. Really, an Imowin would prefer to use it. Huh. But she's not terribly skilled at using it. Is Minsk, though? Eh, not really. We don't really have a longsword user. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, we could give it to Minsk to, like, dual wield. Potentially. So how is that? 12 and 17. Versus... 11, 17. Yeah, it's not ideal. Okay. I'm not sure if I'd rather him... Yeah, higher Thacko is just better, right? So let's go with this. We'll use Varscona in his main hand. And then the Mace in the off hand. That said, there's creatures that take more damage or whatever by way of being hit with a plus one magic weapon rather than these basic common ones. Right? Yeah, so it may be necessary that we give him both of those. I mean, he is skilled in two in using two weapons. There is that. Okay. Let's do a quick save. This need to be picked. No problem at all. Okay. Potion of extra healing. Dispel magic. Okay. Let's see. Let's read about this. Should I reread these and sort of get <laughs> reacquainted with the vast amount of magic in this game? I feel like I should. A Dispel Magic spell removes magical effects upon anyone within the area, includes effects given from spells, potions, and certain magic items such as wands. Does not, however, affect enchanted magic items or spell protection such as spell turning and spell deflection. The chance of the Dispel succeeding is determined by the level of the caster and the level of the magic being dispelled. Base chance of successfully dispelling is 50% for every level that the caster of the Dispel Magic is above the original original caster her chance of success increases by five percent yada yada more stuff okay more stuff about success chance spell is almost useless if the target is five or more levels while this spell dispels the individual effects of grease web stinking cloud and other such spells it does not dispel the area of effect okay oh, failed to write it <laughs> what can you do Okay. Well, let's move these around. I'll take the improved healing. We'll pass that off. Oh! 
Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him, and Minsk stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Yeah. Why wouldn't that? Yeah. Why wouldn't that be the case? Okay. We got everything out of this. Yeah. You can count on me. Let's see. Uh, neither of these need to be thieved into. Very well. Let's see. Oh, we'll take some of that. Is this a longbow? It is. And who was skilled in longbow? Oh. Wasn't it Minsk? Yeah. So we'll pass that off. Just in case we need him to alter, alternate to ranged. We'll load up Imwin with more ammunition. Good. What would you ask? And here we've got flame arrow, another potion. Good. Pass that off to Imwin, both of them. All right, flame arrow. Spell enables the caster to hurl fiery bolts at opponents within range. Each bolt afflicts, inflicts 1d6 points of piercing damage plus 4d6 points of fire damage. Only half the fire damage is inflicted if the creature struck saves versus spell. The caster receives one bolt every five levels after the fifth, two bolts at tenth, three at fifteenth, etc. All of the bolts will streak toward the target of the spell. Eh, we failed. What can you do? What? Okay. Well, you know what? This seems like as good a time as any to call it. When next we come back, maybe we will have appropriately leveled up all of our companions here. Right? Uh, they've all got a ways to go, it seems. And we'll continue poking around here. We still don't really know what's up with this gigantic energy-emitting machine. Right? That seems to just endlessly spawn methods. There's also something else over here in the corner. We may want to interact with that. Right, we may want to backtrack and take a peek. Because, I don't know, it seems like we could use it in this room, maybe. It's it's definitely giving off energy, and we need energy or power cells for this room. So we'll see. Until next time, please take care of each other.